Elle s'est fait mal. Merde, merde, merde. Ça va, ça va, ça va. Oh la vache, la, la tête, ça fait ça va. Look out, we got a we got a lash. We got a lash off. Uh, let me oh tell you about God. this, you know. <laughs> Norton for calling themselves the Guardians of Peace have already leaked hundreds of sensitive emails and documents from Sony, and they had threatened to attack American theaters screening the film. In a recent warning, the hackers referenced 9-11, saying the world will be full of fear. Sony has shelved the movie for the time being, and the Department of Homeland Security is investigating the threats. Don't go away. <laughs> What's happening here? And I think it's it! When on space missions, astronauts get used to eating freeze-dried foods, but today there's something fresh. Love it. Agriculture that's out of this world. Gotta say, it seems like a better idea than eating food grown on Uranus. Uh, let's take a look at the game of the night. This is BBC News. I'm Carol Walker. Andrew, are you excited for pre-kindergarten? Yes. Why? I don't know. Are you going to miss your mom? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't cry. Are you? <laughs> you have a micro mini pony. Oh, look at you. How strong you are. What is your name? <laughs> It is by far not even close to being over yet. That's true. Sinkholes. Oh, there we saw oh, somebody no. just take a header off a bicycle. Oh, my goodness. Not sure what he hit, but of course, uh, that's one of the reasons yeah, why you I shouldn't mean, be could walking have been a, in that water or a, riding a in that water. A sewer grate, yeah, a storm grate there. Um, again, the dangers of, of any form of transportation in this kind of weather is evident. It looks like he's going to be okay, but ouch. Bring out our first model, Kelly. Oh, oh Kelly. Oh my goodness, darling. Okay. Oh. Kelly? I'm sorry, I'm attached. I can't help Kelly. Okay. Just take off your shoes, sweetheart. All right, Kelly's, Kelly's wearing the faux fur. You okay, darling? Yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. Please exit carefully, yes, darling. You okay? You're, gonna, you're attached. It's, it's, oh my goodness. It's the shoe. The shoe. Oh, okay. Millie's my favorite. Look how calm she is as well. John Hancock, who joins us every Sunday morning, chairman of the Republican Party here in Missouri. Wow. There's a race oh. Oh. As a receiver, we just work on, you know, running routes and uh, getting our legs in preparation for camp. Mm -hmm. um, we do some agility drills. Uh, we do some sled work, some band work. Just trying to get in shape. Uh, working out, we do, you know, the weight room thing too. So. Good morning. You are watching WJCL 22 Morning News at 4.30 on Monday, August 3rd. I'm Megan Schiller. Renee has the day off. 
As you can hear, we have a fire drill going on right now. You can hear that blaring in the background. We are safe in here. They're just trying to figure out how to turn it off. So bear with us. A local ranger and a... I've just got bitten by a bull ant. Oh my God. Oh, I'm about to cry. It's really, really sore. The yeah, animals yeah. are coming. Whoa, oh, look wow. at that. Help. Whoa. <laughs> Check it out. Hey, <laughs> That's <Yeah>. great. Bye. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's, look at that crash. Oh. You're safe now. You're safe now, mate. <laughs> wow. <coughs> Well, let's go live now to New York and to Michelle Meyer, who is Deputy Head of U.S. Economics at Bank of America and Merrill Lynch Global Research. Michelle, thanks for joining us. Growth of 2.3% in the second quarter was still pretty tepid, wasn't it? Fuck. <laughs> Okay, Michelle, I must apologise. I said a rude word. One of my leads fell out there. I do apologise for that. Um, what about uh, <laughs> the okay. comparison with last year? <laughs> Woo! Shit. Well, what happened to my feet? My oh, goodness. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a painful time. <laughs> Meaning we're going to add up to our range. Hey, Reva, how's it going, girl? Hey. <laughs> to our rain totals coming in right now. Because everybody was sending out pictures of be it Mount Amina, Mount Diablo, you name it, everyone was obscured. Oh my gosh, we're having an earthquake. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is a good one. All right. That was a good one. That was a big one. That was a big one. 6.49 a.m. 6.49, that was a big one. Especially this afternoon and again for tomorrow. What is that? Is that you, Brenda? Yeah, I guess I was kind of... <laughs> you be careful over there. I was covering my mouth because oh. I was laughing at your super. I, I don't think the two things are related, but you know how we always tease what's coming ahead? <laughs> Do you see that? No! What am I looking at? KGW's oh. Nick Allard. Female Viagra. <laughs> 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 That's a walk-off. <laughs> you know, I've been hearing a lot about a movie out this weekend. Mm -hmm. um, about, um, of, well, yeah, but, but okay. NWA. I didn't know what NWA meant. Oh. So, so I went to my trusty weather dictionary, and it okay. says that it means it's a nice morning, warmer, and it's Friday. That's what it says right there uh, in the weather dictionary. You are so down. Yeah, so, uh, okay. so I guess it's going to be a good movie. Easy, you would be proud. <laughs> okay. Finally, tonight, a brand new way of looking at some very old places. You can't get there now. You can see it. Yeah, really nice HD kind of quality there. All right, we'll see you back here tomorrow morning starting at 4. Thanks for joining us. Have a good night. Yeah. Possibly with American, we'll see, merging with U.S. Airways, are we finally going to break the cycle of bankruptcy, into bankruptcy, out of bankruptcy that has infected the U.S. airline industry for so long? Awesome. Yeah. There's like a thousand people, right? You just kind of set up right here? Oh, it all, yeah. Like all Completely all packed out. You're getting photo bombed. <laughs> <I know. laughs> so, anything else you guys wanted to say? Oh, we're just glad to be here. Move yeah. to Denver. Actually, don't. Anybody move to Denver. Yeah. More for us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did, you, did I have you say you spell your name already? I forget. No, Louisa. L U I S A. Okay, and your last name? Morgan. M O R G A N. And you? Hannah, H-A-N-N-A-H, Madison, M-A-D-I-S-O-N. Is that I agree with you. Nobody listen to the research. Nobody cares about the Kardashians That's anymore. That's not true. They get, they get Nobody good cares. People watch we do the it every show. day. Breathe. Breathe. People watch the show. Breathe, my love. Breathe. There, the news is out, done, over. Have a great weekend. I think it's Friday for him. His head looks like a tomato right now. Yeah. Nobody cares about him. It's He's enough of these guys. I'm sorry, Jenny, that you had to witness Dang. this. Sorry. And both front runners overshadowed by. Say it. These nuts. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, I did to... my <laughs> For details, we turn to sing it, Mo. <laughs> yeah, but that's how get... you're supposed to say no. it. These nuts. 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 What? These nuts. First name is D's. Last name, Nuts. Did somebody actually filled out paperwork to run for president under the name D's Nuts? Have you heard about candidate D's Nuts? 
Yes, independent candidate D's nuts, he's pulling at 9%. D's nuts. There are about 500 random contenders out there, and it may seem like a joke, but some people have taken Mr. Nuts seriously. Candidate named D's nuts. Oh, no. Really? A candidate registered as an independent from Iowa has the legal name of D's nuts. No. Almost one in 10 voters in North Carolina say they prefer D's nuts. <laughs> That's right, one in 10 support D's nuts for president. D's nuts, wow. and uh, a recent poll in North Carolina actually had him polling at about 9%. You are kidding me. This actually looks like a D's nuts third party challenge. <laughs> Might be able oh, to swing no. the election a little bit. Is he talented and skilled? He may, may say the United States from whatever crisis we're in. D's nuts might be our savior. That's it. Oh, nuts. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Vote for D's nuts. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Thanks, Kat. A landmark prisoner swap between the U.S. and Cuba could help thaw the historically frosty relations between the two countries. Cuba has released American prisoner Alan Gross, a contractor who spent five years behind bars for allegedly trying to undermine the country's government. In exchange for his release, the Obama administration has agreed to release three Cuban prisoners jailed in the U.S. It's believed the surprise deal could lead to discussions that would ultimately end America's decades-long economic embargo against Cuba. New figures from federal officials show that close to 2.5 million new people have signed up for health insurance under Obamacare. The number could actually be a bit higher, as it doesn't account for the last-minute rush of people signing up in the days before the December 15th deadline. The White House says that, unlike last year, the healthcare.gov website is holding up very well to the large amount of online traffic. It's projected that 10.5 million Americans will have health insurance through the online exchanges by the end of 2015. And thanks to a surge of online orders, this past Monday was the U.S. Postal Service's busiest day for deliveries of the year, and it wasn't even close. 640 million cards, letters, and packages were shipped on the hectic day, 33 million more than the same day last year. The rush is obviously far from over. Between Christmas and New Year's Eve, the Postal Service expects to handle more than 3 billion items. The Postmaster General says they're ready for the holiday rush and can handle the extra workload. We wish them the best of luck. From the newsroom, I'm Peyton Priestley. I'm Angie Hayward in Dating Uncovered. The times, they are a changing. Dating site OkCupid has expanded its gender and sexuality options beyond just men and women. Daters have 22 choices for their own gender, including intersex, pangender, and transgender. And there are a dozen sexuality choices, from asexual to sapiosexual, someone who is sexually attracted to intelligence.